Okay, this is the uh, Lunaire CEO 910-4 temperature and humidity test chamber. So what we have here are two set point control, single set point controllers, one for temperature, one for humidity. Humidity can be turned on or off, it's off right now. You have a refrigerator on off switch here. Uh, normally at anything above 37 degrees Celsius, they recommend that the refrigerator is turned off. And this is your uh, heater controller here. Again, they're single set point, watt load 1160 plus. So right now I have it set to zero degrees, I have the humidity off, so we're getting the zero, which is the low range of the uh, chamber, we're getting zero degrees Celsius and the humidity is reading 47 right now. So what I'll do is I'll, let's take a look inside first. We'll open this up. We do have a key for, you can lock this uh, door and remove the key if necessary. And we'll send that key along. Anyway, we're we'll going inside the chamber. So the blower's on and it's blowing from right to left. You got two shelves. And up in the back, I don't know if you can see it, that's where you have your uh, humidity sensors right around the back of the wall. And you can see all the drain lines. So, uh, you know, once the humidity goes up, it'll get very wet inside here. And of course, it'll drain out uh, from off the uh, front door through this hose. And then back here through there. And back. Okay, here's your water in supply. It's regulated. You can regulate it down to around 20 psi should be fine. Here's our drains coming from the front door and from the chamber inside. Just opened up to a drain. I have it going into a five gallon bucket right now. And this other drain line is for if you need to drain your uh, boiler in top there which is how you generate your uh, humidity you can't see it but it's up inside of here and uh, here's your power line going in this requires a 208 single phase with a neutral to give you the 115 volts so it's actually four wires two, two phases a neutral and a ground okay up top of here you have a uh, intake and an exhaust uh, damper leading into the chamber and you can adjust it by open and this is closed at 90 degrees by adjusting those levers. All right, so going back to the control panel here, here's your on-off switch. That'll turn on your two uh, controllers here, your, your part load controllers. If you want to turn the humidity on, here's your on switch for humidity, your refri refrigerator on-off. That'll turn the compressor on or off. There is no light, and there is no uh, humidity. There are options that uh, just don't exist here, and there's no defrost option on here either. So what we'll do is we'll bring this temperature up on just by just by pressing the upper arrow. We'll bring it up to the maximum range. And we'll allow it to heat up. So we'll go to 99. At this point, I'll shut the refrigerator off. It'll heat up a lot quicker that way. It's not fighting against the uh, refrigeration system. It will allow this to heat up, and that way we'll show that the range of 0 to 99 is possible, and then we'll go ahead and start setting some uh, humidity levels. So we'll come back when this is up at temperature. Okay, now we have the uh, temperature inside the uh, chamber up to 99 Celsius. And you can see the humidity is very low here. It's at 2% relative humidity. So what we'll do here now is I'll uh, turn the humidifier on and we'll set it up to uh, 96%. So take a little while uh, for that boiler to start generating some uh, humidity inside the chamber and we'll come back later and take a look at it at 96%. Okay, as you can see, we're here now at 99 degrees Celsius and 96% humidity. 
and it's maintaining. So what I'll do here now is I'll lower the humidity. Let's bring it down to 50. And let's lower the temperature to 50. And we'll come back in a little while and take a look at it. Oh, that's our high limit alarm. It can be silenced by hitting this. Uh, the reason is I think it's only a couple of degree uh, it's, it's above the uh, set point is I think it needs to it's set at one degree above it. So if, it's, if the temperature is one degree above set point, you'll get the alarm. Again, you can always just hit the silence. So let's bring this down to 50. And we'll come back in a few minutes, take a look at it. Okay, now we're maintaining at 50 degrees Celsius, 50% relative humidity. And you can see that the power to uh, power out from the temperature controller to the boiler is flashing. It flashes simultaneously with the light here. Okay, here now we're at uh, temperature at 30 degrees Celsius and uh, controlling at 30% uh, relative humidity.